back to like parts of Ludwig's streamer games, but I don't want to restream the whole thing. I think that like unless I had gotten permission or he said that people are allowed to. Uh, but if he didn't, I don't want to. Yoink. Oh, he said we could? Dope. Wait, he said don't. He did. Lots of people are. Didn't he say no on Twitter? He said anyone can just put the name in the title. Let me just check Twitter myself. Twitch colors. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's enough. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my we channel. Out the it's your host, said, Arlette, and we are back with another screen. episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined Where did up. He Make say... some noise, ladies. Anyone who's allowed to co-stream, just put streamer games in the title. Yes! Oh. Okay. okay, you guys look good and you sound good. Yes. So we are going to be bringing out some single guys one by one. When they come around this corner, if he's your type, you're feeling him, you like everything, like, do not pop your balloon. But if there's any something to just. Said, that's a red I'll pull flag, it up on the side, and if something seems really not interesting, in, we can go ahead and pop your balloon, and then I'll bit. go over to a few of you, see why <laughs> you ended up popping. Are do you we know ready? the tiger thinks you're seven? Okay, now so with that being we... said, let's thank go ahead and seven. bring out our first Lupita, single guy. Thank you for 39 months. Welcome back. Yippee. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm um, Scott. Scott, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a truck driver, and uh, I'm living in Houston right now. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, play video games. Uh, I normally... I'm, Work. It always hurts my feelings when they do that. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, but other than that, playing video games. Got it. All right. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, understanding, uh, kind, uh, a lady that's like a real, because you know we all not perfect. So, hey, if you're real, I'm real. We can talk. We can understand each other, and that's it. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, not real. Uh, <laughs> uh. I want to say, yeah, it's not real. Okay. Yeah. All right, you're a simple guy. Yeah. What does not, not real even mean? <laughs> what? All right. So we did get a few oh, pop balloons. Oh, Morgan, thank you for seven months. Why they ended up popping. The girls Start on the right show typically here. really you don't like age. when you don't have My at least Shana, some. My name is Shayna, I'm 30. Shayna, what do you do? Some things you're I'm not okay with. I'm an ultrasound tech, and I um, act on the side, too. Okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? So you seem like a very, very nice guy. Yeah. Um, I had to pop because you're a truck driver, you're on the road a lot, and the video games, That's I'm not fair. sure how much you're into the that. The truck driver, yeah. um, truck driver But part. you're very handsome, good looking, you seem very, very nice, so good luck. Uh, thank you, thank you. No problem. <laughs> All right, now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, yeah. She is so pretty. Natural, you know? Thank you. Yeah, pretty tea. Oh, pretty, thank you. <laughs> pretty, yeah. All right, perfect, thank you. Let's go on down here. We can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um, the reason why... Oh, oh. Misha, what do you do? <laughs> so right now, um, I actually uh, manage a family business that's been operating for about 25 years. So. Do you guys want me to do it in 1.25? And why your balloon? So the reason why I popped um, was because right now I'm looking for somebody who can, you know, be there a little bit more. Um, the truck driving, you're on the road a lot, so that's... That's the reason, but very good looking, and I hope you find somebody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now same thing. Is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What makes her your type? Uh, I want to say, I could just, uh, it's just I could tell, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's, no, she's pretty. Thank yeah. you. Okay, thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? My name is Mary, I'm 34 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist. So, why did you end up popping your balloon? Hey, well, it was just the hair for me. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> What's wrong with this hair? I don't know. It just doesn't look done. Um, the hairline, you know, I just like somebody who looks clean, very, you know, put together. And I feel like you got to compliment me as well. So, yeah. Gotcha. Now, is she someone that's your type? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I go, I go, I go. Uh, uh, yeah, she's my like type. That. Yeah, no. Nah, okay. she... you, you hesitated a bit. Why'd you hesitate? Nah. 
I mean, no. Because what I said? No, no. I can no, line no, you no. up, you know? <laughs> Tina, hey. thank you for serving. Welcome. No, nah, no, nah, excuse me, I'm tired. Okay. Talk to. All right, thank you. Let's go on to our next lady. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone and I'm 31. Okay. And Zola, what do you do? I'm a recording artist and a traveling exotic dancer. Okay. So okay. the truck driving doesn't bother me at all. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the cross on your neck. You know, got faith right here. I saw it. Um, faith tatted on your face is crazy. It's just, you're in Houston, I'm in LA, and I really don't want to do long distance anymore. I got you. Fair. You know, but I travel as well, but it's just, yeah, the truck driving, it's, it's gonna be a lot. Yeah, gotcha. That's lonely, right? Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. on here. <laughs> yeah. But no. Nah. Wait, guys, do you want to watch this for a bit? This is Mike. Oh, well, what, up, what, up, what up, what up, what up? How are you feeling? Face the camera. Let me take it. the mic. That's the right. one rule of broadcast, you don't take the mic. <laughs> All right, I got one, Vinny. For another Vinny, come here. Yes, sir. Vinny, what the fuck? Why are you so fast and handsome at the same time? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You, you know what sucks? It's not that Vinny won, it's that before I asked him, are you fast? And you said, no. Get in your head, bro, you know? Oh my God. All right, well, you won an 11.95. And it hmm? I know, I understand. I mean, we, we do got a bad rep, too, so I, I can't No, I, can't you, yeah. I mean, I'm a traveling exotic dancer, so it's like I'm traveling alone, Ooh. too, and I have a bad rep. So. Not really, I mean, I'm mad. <laughs> yeah. oh, so now is she someone that's your type? Uh, don't be mad at me. <laughs> nah. Okay. Why not? How? Yeah. Mm. That's too much. Oh, nah, see, I'm cool with I body. I guess I get that. Hey, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I know, I get, okay. it. <laughs> I get it. Thank you, though. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Let's start with your name and age. She's so cute, Brianna, though. Uh, 27. She's so cute. And what do you Prince, do? Prince, you know, thanks for subbing. Do Doll, thanks hey. for subbing. <laughs> and so why did you end up popping your balloon? It's just style, you know. Um, it's just style, you okay. know. Everything you do is perfect, from the games to the work in to everything you do is perfect, but um, it's just a style for me, it's cool. I got you. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> now she's someone that's your type? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 she, she got it. She got it, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's head on back. So we do still have, ooh, four balloons left unpopped. Hey. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm gonna have you ask these ladies a question, help you narrow it down, see who's more your type. All right, uh, where do you see yourself in two years? Two years, okay. We'll start with your name and age. My name is Jojo and I'm 30. And Jojo, what do you do? I'm a counselor and a professional dancer. So, where do you see yourself in two years? Dude, some of the girls in two on years, this um, show I'll definitely still are be in crazy my career. pretty. Um, hopefully, in a relationship uh, in two years, and um, you know, reaching more goals, being successful, still doing what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Your name and age? Hi, my name is Darian, and I'm 26. Darian, what do you do? I'm a social media manager. Nice. And where do you see yourself in two years? So two years, I hope to further my career. I hope to work in something maybe a little bit more corporate, um, but also I'm letting God take the lead on that as well. And I, I hope like, to be married in two years. I like so, that. And I, I don't want to make decisions well. anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm letting God okay. take the lead. All right. Your name and age? Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Um, uh, Deja Marie, what do you do? I'm a finance manager. And to answer this question, what, where do you see yourself in two years? Um, I would see myself continuing to grow professionally. I've been working my way through a variety of um, positions within the financial it industry. Sounds like, um, um, so I see myself continuing to grow and advance there and hopefully know, be in a long-term committed question. relationship working towards marriage. All right, Aww. thank you. Let's get one more down over here. Okay, your name and age? I'm Tanaya, I'm 27. Tanaya, what do you do? So right now I'm pursuing my master's in marriage and family therapy. Mm -hmm. nice. Okay, and now where do you see yourself in two years? In two years, I see myself being a licensed therapist, um, a mother, a wife, um, marriage. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, let's head on back. Let's head on back. So I am going to hand you a pick because it is time that you're going to have to pop one of these ladies' balloons. So mm -hmm. let me give that over to you and just go ahead and pop one of them. So I pop one. Yep, got to pop one. Uh, uh, okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh, I guess the other answers have kind of, I'm sorry, the other answers, I'm kind of like, I guess Her in Her answers were so normal. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear a little bit more about him. Um, so I was just going to uh, listen to him talk a little bit more and see what he's about. Cool. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and ask another question. Uh, what's one of y'all weird traits? Oh, weird. Like some of you think that's weird about you, but you know, you do it kind of, you know, in your little time, you know? Okay, let's start over here. What's one of your weird traits? Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> a weird trait. Um, 
I guess it's kind of random, but I like to do like word search puzzles and stuff like that, like yeah. Sudoku and stuff. That's cute. Yeah. I guess it's weird, maybe. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's I'm go over here. What's a weird how I would answer this. Um, I would have to say probably watching ASMR eating videos or like mukbangs. Girl, me. Like seafood boils and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> good? I don't know what that is, but... You look like, <laughs> it's like people eating? Yeah, people eating like yeah. seafood boils. Like, you never seen them? I no. love those On, videos, really? too. No, I've never seen them. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, it's weird, I guess. <laughs> okay, we got one more. <laughs> All right, what's one of your weird traits? So a weird trait that I have, um, you know when you have a piece of gum, I split it in half because it's too much gum. So I take half of the gum and then I eat it and I save the other half for later. That is the least weird thing I've ever heard in my okay. life. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's weird to me. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Doesn't everybody okay. do that? Well, since you asked that question, I know the ladies probably wondering, what's your weird trait? Uh... Well, when I'm driving, I kind of have a little I tilted in my, my head because I thought everybody... Oh, oh my God, you guys don't do that? Oh, sorry. So you'd be laughing while you're driving by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, think uh, too much uh, I don't do that either. Okay, well, after this round, I am going to go ahead and have you pop another balloon. Okay. Oh, I'm going to die. Y'all don't fucking do that. Okay, why'd you end up popping hers? Uh, there's no reason I kind of go over there. Okay. It Be was the gum. Okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. All right. So why did you have your balloon crazy. on top for him? Um, I mean, I heard that he lives in Houston. That's where I live. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to hear more. Got it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Oh. All right. Why did we end up popping? The, um, the answer you just gave just reminded me more of the, like, truck driving, which was a thing for me. But I was trying to hold on because you seem really nice and you look nice. Um, but, yeah, it just, I'm like, okay, don't. Just go with your first mind. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So, is she someone that is your type, though? Yeah. yeah she, mm -hmm. she made it to the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Nah, she seemed like a good lady, and, you know, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for him? Yes. Do you have any children? No. No kids. Okay. Do you have any passions besides video games or hobbies that you do besides uh, video games or truck driving? I mean, the only passion I have is I want to get a lake house. It'll be a, you know, a nice little minute from now. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. How do you feel about cats? <sighs> Yeah, I don't think my dog might like a cat. Oh, okay. Why? So is that like a deal breaker for you? Uh, not really. Not really. I'll make a make a like a an exception. Make arrangements. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I have a cat and she's not going anywhere. I have a dog and he's rocking with me. Okay. Well, they can get along. <laughs> they can get up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. So I Mr. Alrachian, no thanks for having Russia. No? Thank you. Uh, I do actually. Okay. So. About the lake house, I understand that you probably want to own a property that's the lake house. Is it just like you want to live there or are you trying to make something from it? Or like, what do you think? Firstly, are you religious or are you, do you yeah. believe in God? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think, what else do you think God has called you to do? Like, is the lake house something that you're doing a business with or do you plan to do truck driving forever? Nah, because I understand it's hard for a relationship. So mm -hmm. once I kind of start to get that relationship moving, I'm going to try to stay more local and kind of, you know, be there. And the lake house is, uh, one time I was with my friend at the lake house and I just seen it and I, I kind of dreamed like having a family there, having the kids come over, mm -hmm. you know, having my like grandson, like, you know, sneak girls over, you know, <laughs> go drive on the boat and <laughs> take them cute. tubing and all of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why I just wanted that. Okay. Right. okay. Minion, okay. thanks for so, spending time with Is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes, that's right. Oh, is it a yes well, for you for her? Your so, match right off the match. bat is rare. <laughs> all right, I'll take Super this mic rare. and you guys can go on home. Oh, let's give it up for them, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. <laughs> oh. oh, welcome in. Oh. oh, what's your oh. name? Hello, my name is Pointer. Pointer, how old are you? I'm 30. He belongs on a game show. Okay, what do you do? I am a talk show host and an educator. Okay. Checks out. Okay, very cool. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? I love to do the three E's. I like to eat. I like to exercise and I like entertain. I like to be entertained. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what are some things you look for? I'm stealing that. In a woman. <laughs> what I'm looking for in a woman, most importantly, uh, you have to love Jesus. Mm. I love Jesus. Um, and I also I want a woman Jesus. that's romantic. You know, um, I believe it was the prolific artist Mario that said, you should let me love you. Let me. Is this guy real? Wait, I'm blocking. Fuck, hold on. I cannot block this real character me be the one to give you everything you want, you want in me. any uh, 
Uh, y'all, y'all know that. Okay, okay. Oh, I yeah, know. Like, so I want a romantic funny. one. Someone that lets love me it. love them. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, poor communication. <laughs> you know, I mm-hmm. really want an effective communicator. Someone, if you're mm-hmm. tripping, if there's a problem, let me know. You know, I'm yeah. open to communicate. Yeah, I like that. And um, the ratchet music, mm. like excessive. I'm more Motown. I'm more old school. Yikes. Yeah, I'm more pop Motown. My you know, I like too. the older music. That's I what, love that's kind Meg of the Stallion. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we did get a few pop balloons. Right. Let's go on over there see why they ended up popping. Right, right. <laughs> okay, let's start with your name and age. I'm JoJo and I'm 30. Hello, JoJo. Okay. JoJo, why'd you pop your balloon? Uh, at first, it was it was the look, it was the hair, <laughs> but you're it's a character. It's fun, but um. It's me. And then. The- <laughs> What, what do you mean, character? It's me. <laughs> uh, the ratchet music. Like, I listen to Motown and everything, too, but I, I, I got to have a little bit of everything. Okay. And ratchet okay. is on that list. I just meant I get someone exclusive, just mm, only, only okay. ski You know, that's just a little too much. Like, like give me some. But if you have the variation, that's, that's great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, is JoJo someone that's your type? Yeah, she's a baddie. She's a baddie. She knows she's a 10. She a she's a baddie with her baddie friends. Okay, never mind. Oh, my yeah. God. So I was trying to give you that I right. I was trying to give guy. you that. I appreciate you know. that. But yes, absolutely. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> man, she's one killer. You're so funny. I try so hard. I thought it was relevant. Didn't y'all think it was? Okay. <laughs> like, at least my, name is my Shana, content, and though. Awesome. Okay, I love that you love the Lord. Yes. But honestly, you are way too funny for me. I thought, they don't y'all like a sense of humor? I've like, never it's, heard it's too much. Too like, funny. it's way too much. I've, I've never heard too much. You seem like a nice movie. guy. I, it's just too much for me. I understand. Ooh, Thank you, Shayna. No problem. <laughs> you know. I mean, I now, Shayna, someone that, that you're talking Oh, absolutely. Yes, I love the purple. Purple rain. I'm a Prince fan, so it's looking good. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Awesome. And Deja Marie, why did you end up popping your book? He's a personality um, hired. Her. When you came out, it almost seemed like you were in costume, and I didn't like the hair piece or like the toupee or what that is. Um, but you speak very well, and you have a very nice smile. I love your teeth. I thought he was going to um, say this is very my welcoming. Real hair. Um, so wow. you have a beautiful smile. So it was just the hair. Was it, it was just the. It just seemed like you were in maybe costume or something. I, I don't see that you would go I out mean, and dress like that, or maybe have I'll, that. I'll switch it up for you. I can. I can vary. Is it a hair piece? Uh, it, it, it identifies as a part of me, but I switch it up. Just like a lot of my beautiful queens, we all go from one hairstyle to the next in like a day or two. So I like okay. to switch it up. That was it. No, I, I guys, just didn't know if it was so like funny. your everyday look or if you were this. coming out to No, I'll funny. switch it up for you. I just didn't no, like, I I did, I didn't like that. Daisy okay. Marie, I would switch it up if you need me to switch it up. If we locked in, there is switching up. Because... <laughs> I like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like that too. Okay, okay. Now she's someone that's your type? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say yes. Uh, she's thicker than a snicker, so I think that's <laughs> always, you know, a great thing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Deja. Thank you. <laughs> All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um, the reason that I popped my balloon, um, I just kind of felt like it wasn't serious when you came out. It kind of felt like a, like she said, kind of like a, like a show or something. I do appreciate it. You seem like a really nice man, though, but I was just really trying to see the real you, and I don't feel like I'm getting the real you right Right now. Could you get it? Okay. okay, okay, okay. It's real though. I'm <laughs> right, real. I'm right. real. You know, I'm a talk show host. I educate, love the kids. Uh-huh. You know, it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see the real one though. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now she's someone that's your type. I love her height. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm, uh, taller is better. Normally, uh, taller children would mm-hmm. be produced. So yeah, that, that would be be great. Yeah. I love the height. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. Um, at first, it was the overall look. Um, it was just too cheesy for me. And then, you know, as I kind of listened to him, I know you say you were big on, you know, religion and you were a Christian. Jesus. I'm a Muslim and I'm big on mm. religion as well. Okay. And I just felt like that would be a clash. Mm. And you're funny. That's you probably know, like somebody makes me laugh, but guys more like a, that's my homeboy, my little brother, cousin, mm. you know, like, yeah, dating wise, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I understand. All right. Understand. Yeah. Is uh, Miriam someone that's your type? Yes. You know, Allahu Akbar. I uh, definitely appreciate my Muslim. Muslim <laughs> sisters. Um, yes. Just what country? Uh, Somalia. Well, from Somalia. Oh, yeah. Uh, wonderful. I might have to travel there. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. It's going over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. But Ante, he is, uh, I mean. 27, and um, I can't take you home to my parents. I cannot. What would the parents say? What? What's, no. I'm a good, classy Poor man. Family. The whole family. A clown. A clown? Uh, I'm sorry. I What's cannot. I don't. Do I look they like Ronald? Do I look like Not Ronald? You were oh, clown. oh, they, they would clown. clown. I was, I was going to respect whatever you say. Okay. No. Why, why would they clown me? You're not my type. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Think it, it, they think I'd probably be joking taking you there. Mm, yikes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Maybe that's if he wasn't in character, you low, know? Yeah, low key. Low key. But, but still key, but low key. Oh. Like on the piano, we going from maybe Why like a G to a key? A. Um, <laughs> I mean, not really. Maybe the, me and her maybe have similar hair kind of situations oh, going no, on. So I kind of not a wig. Oh no, no, I'm just not a wig. no. Well, this isn't really either. But I like I like I the yours. you're still I, still key. I'm still feeling you. I'm still feeling you. Oh. But you know, B B for oh. baby. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. The hair comments um, a little crazy. I just can't get with the overall appearance and 
I just want to take you serious, and I need someone that's serious. I like to have fun, but mm. and be goofy, but I think it's a little too much for me. A little too much. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. But you're handsome. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Is she someone that's your type? The stallion. Yes. Thank Ooh. you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Awesome. Yes. All right, cool. Thank you. And we did get good content. Oh, our girl that was hanging like on that. to her balloon ended up popping. She was hanging. She was Maybe hanging. an agent. Why'd you end up popping at the end? My name is Zola Stone. I'm 31. And, you know, I get it because I'm in entertainment too. Mm -hmm. But I just. I wanted to see you without the wig and the glasses. Well, these are prescription. I can't, I can't, I wouldn't be able to see how beautiful <laughs> you are without them. them. No, I have prescription too. Like, yeah. I'm I should wear contacts. Um, I but I, I kind of figured you wouldn't want to take off your wig and your glasses and ruin the whole like oh. look and this is the my brand. Hair. This is my hair. But I wanted you to do that to get my final decision. Cause like, I get it. Like, I'm you didn't even give me, you didn't have to pop. You could have been like, yo, yo, handsome. I talk knew show that man. you wouldn't do it. How did you know that about me? Because that's it's only been, the entertainment business. It's only been seven, and you're no. not going to ruin your look. For how good you look, there's a possibility. <laughs> but you popped you on do me. It for me. Wow. She going to tell me my life. <laughs> or say no. And then I can get well, my pop Well, you, you already popped, so I'm kind of like, my, my emotions. <laughs> I didn't mean to pop it. But... Oh, you didn't mean to pop it? No. No, you meant I to. Just, I have That's arthritis. Okay. Like, my hands are bad. And, like, uh -oh. it accidentally literally mm. just popped. Mm -hmm. You want the balloon back? No. Uh, uh, if you're willing to take off your She kind of broke my heart. Oh. She kind of broke my heart. It was, uh, if she hadn't popped, I, I think you I would have. I'm serious. I'm serious. You would have. Because it's not, I don't know all my beautiful <laughs> queens saying it's a character. Okay. It's like this, you know. When, when my baddies have wigs and weaves, that's, it's, well, sure it's accepted. I'm sure you're just so handsome without the wig and the glasses. You that's don't what they tell me. I would have switched it. I told the other wonderful young, I told you I would have switched it up. Okay. But okay, I'm not going, you know, I'm a little hurt because you Thank are you. gorgeous. I love the, you didn't ask if she's my type or less. Come on, come oh, on. Because you, that's my type. You, you didn't want her to get her balloon bag. It don't matter She has now. faith on her face. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right, well, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you for coming on, giving us some laughs. Thank you. Thank you. I, I was serious. <laughs> oh, well, let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you, ladies. I'll take thank this you. mic. Okay. Thank you. NT, <laughs> NT. Nice try. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name's uh, James Moore. James, what do you do? Uh, I work in software and IT right now. Okay, and how old are cool. you? 35. 35, very nice. All right, uh, what are some things I could do for fun? Uh, hang out with friends. Um, I kind of am into gaming, so okay. a little bit of that. Uh, I do like music, music production. Um, I'm pretty spontaneous, so uh, lately this year I went um, to Thailand for two months. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty open to like doing fun stuff, but just kind of kicking back, taking it easy. I okay. do like to work out a lot, so fitness is a thing for me. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what are some things nice. like for a woman? Um, pretty much just chill, down to earth, um, kind, nice, kind of a, just is herself, really involved in what she um, wants to do for career-wise, work, like, you know, has something she's passionate about mm -hmm. um, as well. I kind of find that that kind of motivates me about the things that I'm passionate about as well. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah, off Got the top it. of my head, I could think that's what it would be. Uh, and what are some deal breakers? <sighs> deal breakers. Um, <laughs> so, I would say kids. But the thing is, I'm not against kids because I have homegirls and friends that have children. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, for that's me, nice. is that the girl that I get together with, um, I want to have a family with, so I kind of want to start from the beginning. So that's probably the reason why I would mention that. Okay. And then someone that's kind of just honestly like not not kind. Oh. Mm. I think it's kind of the things I could really mention. So. Okay. Yeah. All so. right. So we did get a pop down there. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up Two. popping. <laughs> All right. We can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And uh, Zola Stone, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um. I feel like we have a lot in common. You know, I do music as well. I'm a recording artist, but I feel like you probably want a girl that's more like clean. clean why, are you, why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming? And I'm just more edgier. <laughs> you know, you probably want the clean, classy look. I'm into the tats, just, just looking at your appearance. So you're kind of what <laughs> oh, I like, just, just saying. I don't know. I just yeah. kind of figured out. Oh, that's cool. probably not going to like the face tats on me or. You know, what made you, what made I you like think that? that he mentioned He's just that so he like does clean. like it, though. Like, perfect. I, I have tattoos <laughs> like, as well. Very, maybe too strict. I don't know. I might be too free. She's still not feeling him, <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I don't know. That's yeah. a vibe I Which get. is like, fine. Yeah. Classy, clean. And um, I'm also a traveling exotic dancer, so okay. probably not going to like that. All right, all right. I feel you on that. I get that. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, okay, yeah, no, it's okay. fine. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you got the creative there, and I'm super creative, but... I might right. be too wild. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So I know before you were like, yeah, I like the tattoos, all that. So is she someone that's your type? Uh, everything's cool. The last part. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm cool. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. No judgment, though. But No, uh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Fair. 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 <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Your name and age? Briante, uh, 27. Okay. And why'd you end up popping your balloon? I have a beautiful son, so no thank you. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Now is she someone that's your type? 
Yeah, she definitely would be my type. She's uh, very she attractive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, like, I like the color of the dress you and everything. Very, yeah, it's just... Yeah, my son is everything to me. How old's your son? Just ask. Um, he's seven. Okay. Yeah, um, single mom, so, you know, I don't deal with no drama or nothing. It's just me and him, so, you know, uh, we are, like, we're packaged. So if somebody doesn't accept him, then they don't get me. Mm. So, yeah. I totally understand. Okay. Hi. Thank you. Let's head on back. We need to get a pop right on over here. Your name and age. My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Great. And Misha, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just physically wasn't attracted. Um, you are a good looking. Her woman. makeup no looks about that. It's just so I just wasn't good. physically attracted, and I didn't see um, myself, Damn. you know, matching with you. Um, a little too short for you? No, it's not even the shortness. Like, it, I don't think you're short though. So okay. I'm wearing heels right now. But um, just like you know, your outfit and stuff, it just wasn't my vibe. So. Okay. That's it. okay. Mm -hmm. Now she's someone that's your type. Uh, she, she she's cute, but probably not someone I would really go for, honestly. And well, why not? Um, man. <laughs> uh, no, leave it at that, just, man. Just not my type, Kick yeah. stitches yeah, for something. Yeah. Sour yeah, racing the tears. I can't pinball. I can't pinball. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess we'll let him slide. <laughs> let, let it slide. Let it slide. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Your name and age. I'm Shayna, and I'm 30. Okay. And Shayna, why did you end up popping your balloon? So you are very handsome, Aww. but physically, just not my type. Aww. In the outfit too. That's fair. Yeah, what What are you into physically? I want to know. I don't know. I don't see myself with you. Like when I saw you, there wasn't like no kind of connection. Yeah. Um, but you are good looking. Like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He's trying to figure out is it something specific? Yeah, I wonder like what what kind of men are you mm -hmm. into? Like what, what what turns you on? What gets you excited? <laughs> Just when I saw you, I didn't feel any kind of connection. Okay. Um, but you are good looking, so. All right. Thank you. All right, we'll let it, we'll let it slide. Yeah, we'll yeah, see, we'll we let, let slide. you slide one. Oh my God, That's he kind of does have a GTA <laughs> shirt on. Eight. That's what it kept, I was like, 30. it reminds me of and something. Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? I don't uh, know The what. attraction just wasn't there. I like that you're into fitness, because uh, I am too, but um, as I was just looking, I was like, no. These women are so yeah. superficial, yeah. it's okay. mad. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. No, she's I think the guys and the girls on this show are both equally superficial. Similarly to how people are in real life. Yeah, probably would be someone I would... There's a there's an aspect of superficiality, is that a word, to dating. Dating okay, show. so we do still have three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question, just help you narrow it down, see who's more of your type. Hmm. All right. Um, what do you feel like has been a very positive attribute and the men that you've dated that has been kind of like something that's been brought up over time? Okay, let's start over here. Your name and age and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie, I'm 33. And do you mean a positive attribute within myself or within the partners I typically choose? Yeah, your personality. My personality. Um, I would say I'm very understanding. I'm very caring. Um, I'm very loyal and supportive. Um, I have a good ear to listen, and mm -hmm. um, I care about my partner's emotional well-being. So that's always been a positive Aww. in my past relationships. I like that. I like that. Let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. What was the question again? Because I didn't hear it. I'll rephrase it. So basically, like, what's like a positive attribute of... Um, that you've had people tell you uh, from the, the people that you've dated um, consistently, like about you, that they've liked something about like how you are. Um, I pour into the person I'm dating. Um, I feel like I help them elevate as well, so that helps me elevate in a sense. I think if that makes sense. Um, women do that a lot. I'm nice. Try to uplift their partner. I, I mean, I really don't know. I feel like build them up. They really don't say it. It's just more through actions. Um, it's never like, oh, well, you do this, you do that, and I like this, I like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. And then we got one more. All right, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Tanaya, I'm 27. Um, I would say a positive attribute from past partners is that I'm naturally genuine um, and nurturing. Um, I do have um, an ear to listen to. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, yeah. And then I always smile. And I think that's a really positive attribute that my partners, past partners would say, I always smile. That's cool. All right, let's head on back. Okay, so I am going to hand you a pick. You are gonna have to pop one of these ladies' balloons, just based off of what you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff, so let me hand that over. There you go, and then just go ahead and pop one of theirs. This is horrible. <laughs> uh, You're gonna be take okay. Take offense, don't take offense. Yeah. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? She seems like a really nice person, but just, just not my speed. <laughs> yeah. Now, you did have your balloon unpopped for him, why so? Um, I just wanted to hear more, like, physically I wasn't attractive, but I'm learning to not look at the physical, so... Physically I just not attractive to is more, crazy to say. Who didn't match, so it's okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head on back. Okay, Do you guys think you can start off here. not being attracted to someone and then, and then become more question. attracted with time? Um, 
I actually feel like you typically know right off the bat. Let's have them ask you then. Right? Okay. Ladies, any questions? I don't know. Down there? Okay. Let's start down here. I think you can start off not liking someone personality wise or like romantically and then start to like them. But I think physically, I guess my point is more so you usually don't start off thinking someone is unattractive and then they turn into fully attractive. Sometimes they can be like, oh, you know, just my friend. You don't think one way or the other about them and then you start to be more attracted to them. But usually if you're like, that person isn't attractive, I don't know if that changes much. So what are your long-term goals like with the next couple of years? What do you see yourself at? It happened to me. Um, hmm, continue working, uh, investing, kind of like really setting money aside. Um, then again, I also feel like, at least for me, it's rare for me to be like, oh, I'm super not attracted to that person. Like I find them, you know, I think that's kind of like live abroad. So possibly buy properties in Asia, mm-hmm. Mexico, um, invest in businesses. Kinda Usually you're like indifferent or you like it. Just kind of get up like residual income. Wait, guys, okay. they're doing the kookiest. Two, one. <laughs> And that's Challenge. the amount we got there. <laughs> Blindfolds off. Thank you. Were it's you passing be careful, be careful, be careful. the water back? Right. Okay, you can, you can touch it. Just don't, don't shake it. All right. <laughs> this just makes no All right, sense. All right, Morgan. Gently, Ron. <laughs> like, who came up with this? Hold, hold, watch out, camera's coming through. Camera's and they coming measure through. how Let much water settle. made it Let after it all of the tosses back. That is 1,001. No, nice. that is one Hoktua more than Team Red Bull Bro. and our new leaders for the event. 1,001. That's 1,001. Yeah, That's 1,001. That's 1,001. You see it, yeah. No, it is. It's just it crazy. Is. Yeah. Man. You know, there's some ridges in that, and they got some, like, ridge action. <laughs> so, so it's, they got one more milliliter? They got one more milliliter. That's so fucked. Yeah, well, what do you want from them? <laughs> they're athletes. This is the streamer games, dude. This is real shit. At least Water they're grass. watering the... Yeah, oh, is, is it fake grass? All right, next <laughs> up, we got Team Podcast. Get on up. Make sure you left your blindfold. It's OTK. Team OTK. Thank you for the Mage, thanks for the... OTK, get in. Hey, blindfolds, 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 OTK. Blindfolds, Heaviest blindfolds. is in the front, lightest is in QT, the back. QT, blindfolds QT. right here. Oh, they got. <laughs> yeah, everything is gonna be wet. Yeah, Miss. Okay, this seems. Is this a choice? Uh, oh my God, I'm streaming strongest. at the same time. She's the strongest. It makes so much sense. All right, okay, wait. Do you guys want to watch this challenge? Do you not believe me? Or continue the show? Yeah, that's tough. Blindfold on. All right, lock in. Feel your buckets. The rule no, is... Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We good? We good? We good? We got the water reset. Art, just want to make pour sure. Pour that out. Pour that out. Pour one out for the homie. Um, that sort of thing, really. That's kind of like in the forefront and, of course, meet someone that I could kind of establish a relationship with, <laughs> uh, start a family. Yeah. Okay. What would that look like in, in the midst of yeah, all that? Yeah, Espen has lost like a lot of weight. More... I don't I think, think it's too much. I think you're going to work and GTA just, you know, arc. money comes in time, so you can mm-hmm. allocate finances and just do what you need to I'm do. I'm more so jealous of his hair, though. And meet that person and kind of upon that and get to know them and, you know, go in the right direction that, you know, hopefully they're both, you both are on the same page, so, okay. yeah, that's kind of how I see it. Okay. Yeah. That's my question. All right. <laughs> okay. Any questions over here? Um, yes. Are you, how do you feel about long distance relationships or where are you, where do you live? I stay in LA right now, Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never done a long distance relationship, so I'm 50-50 about it. I don't know if I can give a yes or no, but I feel like if it's the right person, I think that, yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Yeah. I feel similarly. They're really not ideal, Where are you? Though. I know he said he's LA. I'm in Wisconsin, okay. so we would be quite away. I've, I've never been to Wisconsin. Actually, I think I have been once to like a Wendy's or something like that. <laughs> I was like 15, <laughs> but I haven't really been in Wisconsin. I've never Kitty been to Cat LA either, so. 72 months. You, gotta, you gotta come to LA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. If you're ready to pop, you can pop. Or if you have another question, you can ask the ladies another question. Um, what do you ladies look for in a guy? Like, what, what are you looking for? What's the situation? Okay. I'm looking for someone that's um, ready to be committed in a committed relationship. I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm 33, so I don't want to interact with situationships that are just going to pass the time. I want something more long-term where I can get to know someone on a deeper level um, and really build that friendship to where we can work okay. towards, you know, a marriage or starting our own family. Um, I just don't want to deal with anyone if they're just to pass the time. And I would hope someone is ready to commit in that way as well, or at least work towards that type of commitment. Okay. I understand. Let's go down here. So I'm looking for someone that I can build with, um, someone that I can call my best friend, but also my lover. Aww. Um, 
also someone that is committed and that wants a family and wants marriage because family is everything to me. Mm -hmm. So I want somebody that's really grounded Ready. in that and grounded in faith. It doesn't have to be a certain denomination, but have to believe in something. Okay. Sounds good. All right, it's time to pop. Gotta pop one of their balloons. This is hard. I know, I know, they're amazing ladies. <laughs> it's my toothpick. You lost it? Oh, all right. Okay, um, there we go. <laughs> I can't make a decision. Yes, Let's you can. <laughs> no, I, no, I can't, no, I can't. Um, He's like, can I have them all? Oh, 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 all right. So I didn't like that. I didn't like that oh, at all. Oh, why did we end up popping hers? I saw it was really, really, really tough. So I would have popped. Honestly, it was I really, really tough. Like that. I, I think you both are great. I think all the ladies are actually pretty great. Yeah. Um, I wish I could have a little more time to get to know you. Um, your response on the last question I felt was kind of rushed, and I, I get what you were saying, because mm -hmm. um, time is, like, really important. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why the reason was. Uh, I felt she was a little more calm and matter about it. You mean like rushing to a relationship or rush in what regard? Just the energy, yeah. like I get what you were saying, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was real kind of like, just like, we gotta like do this now, you know? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. He Let's come he on ate. up here, come on up, come on up. Starved. All right, so I have a final question, if you guys are all If good. I was the girl in white, no. I'd be like, ooh, oh, sorry, no, I don't want no, you anymore after oh. that. <laughs> Okay, boy. So, <laughs> is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. Boy. Is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a match! Okay. Match. I'll take this mic and you guys can go on off. Do two matches right yes, away. Yes, give it up for Don't. them. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jeremy. Jeremy, how old are you? I'm 34. And what do you do? I'm an operations manager for a global logistics company. Okay, very cool. What are some things I could do for fun? Uh, I'm a musician. I'm a writer, a songwriter, okay. uh, poet, author, and coach. Poet. Very nice. Uh, now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, honest women. Okay. That's number one. Uh, it's hard to find these days. Mm -hmm. um, oh. A woman that has a relationship Who uh, heard with them? her spiritual father. Okay. Um, and my interpretation of that is God. Um, a woman that knows what she wants and that's focused on her goals. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers are lack of accountability, mm. um, are uh, women that don't communicate with men well. Okay. So if you have like dad issues or you got a reckless mouth, it's probably not going to work. Okay. Uh, and I hate to say this, but like the last one I hate to have to say this is hygiene. Thanks for seven. Hygiene, okay. Yeah. What's your preference? <laughs> All right, so we have no pop balloons. So you're doing well. Mm. Lack <laughs> so of accountability, so corporate speak. to you. I think um, so that for one was the a first bit round, odd. I am going to have you pop. Two balloons, based off of what you're seeing so far. Who doesn't really fall into your type? Whatever it may be. So let me hand you a pick. Can I ask a question, or do I got to Nah, just not this round. Next round. <laughs> this is tough. I know. Um, <laughs> you can do it. Though I would hate to have to do it. Okay, and one more. <laughs> I don't know why I hate. I hate seeing them bend over to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with the first one you ended up popping. Like, ass okay, out. Okay, so you can have your name and age. Boop. My name is Miriam, and I'm 34. <laughs> and Miriam, why did you have your balloon unpopped? So I don't funny. know, honestly. Okay. I think I was zoned out. Oh. Oh? I was, no, no, seriously. Um, I think I just wanted to hear more, but she I She said I, I didn't even want to be here. I was just disassociating. Yeah, I just she, wanted to hear more. Okay, so is he someone that is your type? No. Okay, yeah. what makes him not your type? Um, He's too slim, and just, I think, the hair, um... I just don't feel like braids is like something for an older guy in his 30s. Just, I mean, just my opinion. And um, hmm. when you first came out, I'm a parents person. Um, I think it was like your bottom teeth, and I'm just big on teeth as well. <laughs> so I mean, that really well, was just it. And yeah. Well, I can't see them, so I can't see. All right. So is uh, Miriam's? I know you end up popping her balloon. Why'd you end up popping hers? <laughs> um, not really my type. Mm -hmm. Um, it seems. Uh, Mainly 34, I didn't I didn't see that, but uh, I thought she was a little bit older, and so oh. that's kind of why I popped. But, okay. Yeah. <sighs> jab Thank you. for jab. And you did pop one more. One, Let's go one. over here. Your name and age. Deja Marie, 33. And Deja Marie, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear you talk a little bit more to see what you were about. Okay. So is he someone that's your type? Uh, typically not, okay. um, but I was still wanting to know a little bit more. Okay. You know, I'm going to ask, what makes him not really your typical type? <laughs> um, I would say uh, the builds. 
Um, I like a little bit more stocky, more um, like athletic. <laughs> Um, and uh, you have a very, I love your height though. You. I love tall guys. So I love your height. That's a plus. Um, but typically I just like a little bit more, um, build and then, uh, the hair. Stocky makes me think of chicken stock. So I just think it's soup. <laughs> All right. So why do we end up popping Deja Marie's? Um, kind of similar answer to you gave. It's just not, not usually my type. Like, I mean, you're beautiful though. Delta Thank paper you. tango no, cheered 1,000. Chloe underscore zero till at five dollars. As of today, You're there right. are many who love to attract <laughs> attention right, by wearing inappropriate clothes. <laughs> okay, so for the next they round, don't even realize their now. mistakes and what they're doing cool. is utterly um. shameful. Mm? <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't Do hear any of you have now. children? As of today, there are many who love to attract attention by wearing proper clothes. They don't even realize their mistakes and what they're doing is utterly shameful. Are you lost? Thank you, Delta. Okay, I think we have one down there. Okay. Our How children. many children? Okay, let's go down Girl, there. I don't know. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Briante, 27. Okay, and then I think he wants to know how many kids do you have? One. One, okay. I was asking because that's kind of my limit. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I appreciate Just that. Just one. Honesty. Okay. okay. So it's not a deal breaker. No, no, it's not a deal breaker. Okay. Yeah, one is my, one is my okay. limit. So Got it. I appreciate All right. that. The back. <laughs> okay, so we only have one that has a child. Any other questions? Um, yeah. Why are you single? Mm. Oh. <gasps> okay. We'll still ask, and then we'll go. Okay. <gasps> All right. All right. <gasps> Why is that a popping question? <laughs> You know, it's the truth. Let's, <laughs> why let's do you guys think they've your name and oh. age and why are you single? My name is Misha and I'm 27. Um, the reason that I'm single is I'm, because I, can't I wait have to hear. done a really good job of figuring out what I like. And I feel like I'm at the age right now where I can't date and I do know what I want. Um, I think my earlier years I was having fun, figuring out everything. And now it's like kind of all keen in, I'm focused. I know what I want at this point. Okay. We have one more unpopped. <laughs> and uh, why are you single? I think I'm single because um, I tend to pick the wrong men. Um, I do go for more bad boys and um, everything you're not probably supposed to go for, but uh, I like to take a little risk. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna go out of my element now. So. Mm -hmm. Understandable. <laughs> so we did get a few pops when you asked, why are you single? Let's start right here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm Zola Stone, I'm 31. And I pop just because uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm single because just being in the entertainment industry is, is just tough. You know, I'm a recording artist. I know that's and right. I'm an exotic dancer on the side. Um, not a main thing. Kind of too old. My body hurts at this point. So it's, it's not every day. It's more the music side is every day, you know, but uh, you probably won't like that. So. Okay. so you pop because you think he wouldn't like it just it just like reminded me like just dating in the industry is so tough mm -hmm. i don't know so is she someone that is your type though um probably not generally but i did like your answer and so um i appreciate your like authenticity i've seen more about you than i did at that particular time so um like if we met like yeah i would talk to her yeah absolutely Chloe underscore zero tip four dollars and twenty cents. Come back to Ala you know, W. I show speed. She has really pretty features. All right, name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shayna. I'm thirty. Um, you are handsome. Those You're definitely three. my type. I just did not like the question. I feel like when men ask that, sometimes they're mm. trying to find something wrong. Mm. Um, and I'm single because I'm single. I haven't met the person. I just didn't like the question. Oh. My rebuttal to that is okay. I was more so asking to see if there was any accountability or self-evaluation that you were like willing to present in this conversation, any vulnerability you was willing to give me in this small space. Um, but I, I can see how that can become like or seem aggressive. And I'm a very accountable person. Yeah. Um, every relationship that I've been I in, I've always to taken that the really time well, to kind of step back and see areas that I can improve. Um, but it just didn't work out. You know, I just, I just didn't like the question, but I do appreciate it. I think it. her yeah. perspective is valid too. Thank you. Like, I appreciate that. All right, and now she's someone I that's I could right. see um, guys yeah, asking it like, for yeah, that reason. Um, she has a great smile. Seems like she's authentic and genuine. Um, so yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Okay, name and age and why you ended up popping. I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Um, so I popped. I don't think it's a bad question, but I don't necessarily like the question either. Um, it definitely um, gave me like to see like, is there something wrong with me, which is why I'm single. Um, Cause I feel like that's kind of what most men get at because I have heard that question before. Um, I don't think it was a bad question. It's just, yeah, it was there. Otherwise, 
I don't think it's so someone that is your type apart from the that question. nicest question. I like your height and you complexion. Know? You look nice. Okay. Okay. Kayla, thank you. Now she's someone that's your type. Maxie, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's beautiful. Your eyes, complexion. Yeah. Seem very nice, authentic. Like yeah. I think there are all, all there are other ways. Okay, so we do have two people to express left. the same. Thing. Any other questions you want to ask them? You feel me? Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you had an unlimited bank account, uh, somebody wrote you a blank check to do whatever you wanted to do with it, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Start over here. <laughs> um, I would probably, uh, because I played sports, um, volleyball, so I would probably do a nonprofit for, um, you know, kids who don't have the ability to get to college and stuff and kind of create something so they can have the ability to go to college, get the right funding, get the right, you know, um, mentorship and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I would do for them. Really big with kids, so. Okay. Let's go on over here. Okay, if you want to go ahead and answer his question. Um, I would say first off, I would take care of my family and um, start a business, of course, and start a business for, with my family as well. And Ooh. significant other, of course. That's um, tough. Yeah, kind of like keep the generational, generational uh, like, foundation it. going, so. Building mm -hmm. generational wealth. Right. Ladies, Thumbs any up. questions for him? But do have, oh, hold on. sorry, do you have working children? with your family not, just okay. to work with your family? Like sometimes it makes sense, but sometimes. Okay. Any questions over here? It was. Do you like to have fun? Like, are you spontaneous? Absolutely. Do you like to go outside That's and the only go reason to the I'm beach here. at night or something? Like, I love long walks on the beach. I said at night. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, yeah. I just you know if I just like a fun person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll be back for you then. <laughs> okay. Why do we end up popping? Um, I, I ended up popping my balloon just because. Um, the connection, um, I did want to actually get to hear you and no more stuff, but at the end, I just wasn't feeling the connection at the end of it, but very handsome and you got yourself going. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay let's go on down here. Are you a family person? Like, Absolutely. do you like to go to other people, like your significant other's family? And are you um, actu actually- I feel like I can um, see them Do you interact yeah. or you just sit there? And I'm the uncle with the slides on at the barbecue. Party. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that's okay. cute. <laughs> okay. And Maybe the fact that she time. likes that so much. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> okay, so I'm really feeling the vibe. So you know, like I, I have my final question for them, you know. Oh, okay, so cute. is it gonna be a yes for you for him? They are gonna fall in yeah. love. Oh, <laughs> Oh this is a yes for you for her. Absolutely. We got a man. Oh my God. Yes. yes. I'll take this. Y'all going off. I've yes. never seen three matches in a row. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Never. Hello. Welcome in. What's your name? Hi. Uh, my name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how old yes. are you? Oh, I'm, I'm 34 years to hear old. That many posts, and what do you do? Actually. I work in telecom and I'm a real estate agent. Okay. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Yes. Yeah, so I mm -hmm. like to travel. I like to travel to Mexico primarily, and uh, I would love to find someone to take with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And now, what are some things you look for in a woman? So, uh, so like some of my deal breakers. Oh no. What, what do you look for in a what woman? What do I look for? Mm -hmm. So, someone that is very feminine, someone that is beautiful, of course, and someone that can cook. I love mm. to eat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you cook? So? Yourself? Of course. Oh, okay. Of course. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? Dude, that's some of my deal breakers. So, uh, cigarette smoking. Okay. Uh, someone that may have a uh, kid. Okay. And uh, that's mm -hmm. pretty much it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Imagine so we did getting get a few right balloons. When you okay. Going oh, over there to see why they pop that time. Okay. Name and age yeah. and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Hi, Deja. Hi. Deja, why'd you pop? Uh, the reason I popped it was just initial attraction. Um, it wasn't there for me, and I do typically like uh, taller men, um, but you have very, very beautiful, striking eyes. You have a nice smile. Yeah. So you. outside of that, that's pretty, pretty much eyes. all. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Now, is uh, Deja Marie someone that's your type? Uh, not initially. However, uh, past the initial look, I could possibly love her personality. Okay. Yeah. So you said not initially. Is there something specific? or Past uh, the initial look Just the way that uh, I, I usually like a little bit darker women, oh. if that makes sense. Yeah. My black queens. <laughs> I understand. Well, All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay. Your name and age. My name is Misha, and I am 27. Um, the reason why I popped, um, I personally like darker skin. Okay. <laughs> so, it, um, but <laughs> beautiful. I mean, eyes are amazing. You look amazing, and I can tell you, you got your stuff together as well. Thank you, Misha. You Appreciate that. Now, is uh, Misha someone that's your type? Yes, okay. for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's I go really over like here. Okay. Your name and age. Just on their nice name is Miriam, all, you know? 34. Okay. And Miriam, why did you pop your balloon? Um, it's just the height, honestly. Okay. I think you're very handsome, but you. you have beautiful eyes. But just, just the height. Okay. I appreciate like, that. Thank he, you. He looks, he looks taller than yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> taller than me is about six, uh, you know, uh, like six four. Oh, so you, you want to you want to climb a tree? Yeah. Like, okay. 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 I got, I got, I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay. All right. Now is Miriam someone that's your type? Uh, not at all. Oh. Okay. Oh. Why not at all? Uh, she is. Uh, she's definitely a beautiful woman. It's okay. just uh, not an initial nice. attraction. 
at first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Well, That's fair. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. go over here. Okay. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. Not always a bit harsh. And Zola but... Stone, why did you pop your balloon? Sanctuary I'm not the woman. best cook. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I dated a real estate agent before, and mm -hmm. it just kind of clashed because I work more in entertainment music industry. Okay. And so he was just kind of trying to change me in a way. Oh. So I know that I, I shouldn't, you know, judge that. Maybe try again. But I don't know. I just don't have a good experience. Like, no, it's all good. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's fair. Yeah. No, she's okay. someone that's your type? Yes, for sure. Okay. Yeah. What makes her your type? So she's uh, very beautiful. I love her eyes. And she's melanated. So that's definitely something that I love about her. Thank you. Yeah, you have beautiful eyes. Too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And then we did get one more up here. Your name and age. I'm Jojo, and I'm 30. Okay. And Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, I know he said his preference was darker skin. And so I was like, okay, I'm light skin. But um, yeah. I, that's my preference, too. So we kind of looking the same right now. Right. Twins. Right. No, no, it's all good. Eyes and everything. <laughs> You guys do like favor each other yeah. a lot. Maybe related a little bit, right? <laughs> Sus. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now I know we just said y'all look related, yeah. but is she someone that just my sister? Uh, yeah. <laughs> not really. I'm gonna uh, say that. And uh, that's pretty funny though. I think eyes. the same. I love the hair. I, I love the tattoos. I don't think and I can date she's beautiful someone overall. Like she just uh, wouldn't be my type because yeah. we do look really too similar. Yeah. To be honest with you, but yeah, okay. overall, beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Something is right, genetically so suspicious here. All right, have one balloon left and popped. Any questions for our lady here? Yes. Okay. So, uh, from your your last relationship, name one thing that you did wrong and one thing that he did wrong. Oh. I'm not answering that. Okay. What? What? what Fair why? Enough. I'm not gonna answer that only because. We're starting off new. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I don't want to bring what was I in the don't past really think that into something I'm starting new. Mm -mm. Okay, I, it, it was okay, okay. before, you, but I think it's getting a little... What were you trying to get out of that question? Little, um, help her better understand. Uh, just trying to see where her head is at and see if, if there was, like, any you know? issues I could kind of foresee in, at the beginning. Okay. And, you know, yeah. every relationship, it's both partners, you know? I'm not saying it was just me, it was just him, it was well, both of us. Yeah, but um, he but said, I'm not bringing say one something and old one. Something new. Okay, that's fair enough. I appreciate that. You were very beautiful. Thank I would have loved to take you out. Okay. Because for me, like, if I ask a guy that question, he goes, I'm not telling you. Au revoir. You're handsome, dude. You're always popping on these questions, girl. <laughs> hey, you want your balloon back? I do not want my balloon back. Oh, well, look, can I ask a question before I... Well, let me ask a question. Is yeah. it going to lead to you getting your balloon back? It might. Okay. 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 All right, all right. okay, so I am a believer, and my relationship with Christ is very, very important. Yes. Okay. What religion are you? I'm Christian. Okay. And what does your relationship with Christ look like? I Either if I don't go to physical church every Sunday, I watch it on YouTube. And uh, Stop, every single Sunday, cute. I have to get some type of intake of I've never uh, heard of, of someone watching okay. yeah. church on YouTube. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, but is she going to answer the question then? <laughs> you know? Okay. All right, let's, let's continue like this conversation up here. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any other questions for him? Do you have any children? No oh, children. She's not? And oh, where do you see yourself in the next few years? I intend to retire by the age of 40 in uh, the country of Mexico and have properties all around the U.S. that are being rented out. And that passive income cool. is going to fund your lifestyle. And where do you live? I live in Las Vegas. Okay, so I do stay in Florida. I like that he has okay. like a plan. How do you feel about that? We can work things out offline, and we can see how things go later on. Okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for that too. Yeah, it's good. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we got the little bag. Okay, so it's going to be a yes for you for yes. <laughs> it is it a yes for you for her? Of course. 100%. We got a match. Four <laughs> matches. And you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them, y'all. You're kidding. <laughs> What? Okay, let's go ahead and bring Imagine out our next it's single a full guy. Video matches, please don't spoil if you know. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is Julius. Julius, how old are you? Yes, I'm 34. And what do you do? Uh, me, I'm an OTR truck driver. Okay, yes, very cool. Yes. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? Uh, for fun, man, I do a little bit of everything. I like to play pool, uh, bar hop, comedy clubs, sip and paint. Uh, escape rooms. Okay. Uh, shit, I know it may not look like it, but I. Oh, I forgot the talk show host guy. Oh. He doesn't count. Love to eat, so different <laughs> restaurants, trying to different a foods. Joke. Uh, yeah, every year it I go to a different. Joke. I mean, I go to Lakers games every him. year, so uh, but yeah, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are some things like for in a woman? Yeah, he was strictly Ooh, content. Oh, what I look for in a woman? Yeah, I gotta dig deep in my soul for this one. <laughs> All right, look. So I'm looking for a woman that's has not given up on love. I like his fit. That still believe in the process, I mean, the concept of falling in love. Because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. let's be honest, like, every relationship is not perfect. So, you know, mm -hmm. every relationship, you have your ups and downs. So, you know, I'm mm -hmm. looking for a woman that's going to stick around when we're mm -hmm. having our downs. Mm -hmm. You know, because, like, uh, as long as I'm not cheating on you or putting my hands on you or 
disrespecting you any type of way, any disagreements we have, we can get through that. Okay. So, you know, yeah, uh, I'm looking for a woman that knows how to think for herself and that's, and, and that's oh, I'm sorry, uh, and that's not gonna uh, follow behind the crowd, you okay. know? That's not gonna alter her opinion just to appease the crowd. So, you know, a woman that's gonna stand no business. Uh, <laughs> man, I'm looking for a woman that's genuine, you know? A woman that's kind, okay. loving, he said, no, what, You no, gonna keep going, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? <laughs> deal breakers, oh, uh, I would say a woman that does not know how to take accountability. Mm. Uh, a woman that doesn't keep her house clean. Like, don't get me wrong, like, if you got kids and your house is a little messy or stuff like that, like, that's cool if you got toys around, if you got laundry piled up or something like that that you just ha haven't got around to doing it, okay, that's cool. But I'm talking about, like, if I go to your bathroom and behind the sink, it, it looked like it ain't been, I mean, behind the toilet, it looked like it ain't been touched in months. Like, that's a deal that's breaker, it. like, you know, IG. Okay, understandable. Yeah. All right, so we do not have any pop balloons. Oh, we don't? No. <laughs> oh, yay. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, switch it on over Five to you. Five matches would be insane. And you know what? Let's start off with you having uh, to ask the ladies a question. Question? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a three-in-one, maybe a four-in-one, depending on how I work the question. But uh, how long have you been single? Uh... How long did your last relationship last? And name one thing he did wrong in that relationship, and name one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Okay. We'll start here with your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is the Gojo, and I'm pop. 30. Um, my last relationship was a while ago. A while ago, many, like, many years. is it a time frame? Um, it was like 2016. 2016, mm -hmm. okay, oh, okay. Eight yeah. years. Um, and what was the second part? Uh, one thing you both How long did, did it last? How long did your last relationship last? Uh, we were together for like, Seven, eight months. Seven, eight months? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship? Uh, I think both of us kind of had bad communication. Bad um, communication? Okay. But what ended it all was like distance. We ended it's... up moving away from each other. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. okay. Right, Let's go over here. Name, age, and answer to this question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Um, I've been single for two years now. Two. My last relationship lasted collectively about three years. We started off as friends. Um, we built a very deep friendship with each other. We became best friends, and then that evolved into a romantic Aww. relationship. Gotcha. Um, the reason we ended, we just were not on the same page. I think um, we wanted to. he wanted to deal with me for quite a while, but mm -hmm. once it, we actually met, he wasn't ready to fully commit in that way. He still kind mm -hmm. of wanted to do his own thing. Um, and at the place in my life, I want someone that's serious and committed and is wanting to settle down and build something in depth, like you stated. Mm -hmm. um, so because of that, I just didn't want to pass any more time um, with something that he wasn't 100% in with. Got you. Okay. And can you name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong? Um, I would say I his lack of commitment or just his so lack of just discipline about why they broke um, because up we went over what our boundaries were when we started and with us being close friends initially, right um, I had a clear understanding of what he was looking for. I thought he had a clear understanding of what he was looking for. Um, but when it came down to just having that full commitment and not being able to go out and do what he wanted to do, um, that wasn't sitting right with me. So I think that was the main thing that ended our relationship. Mm -hmm. um, as far as me, I think um, I would take accountability in that relationship. There were certain things I seen in our initial friendship that should have been considered red flags. And, um, you know, small things like that or going out or things he likes doing on his free time that I kind of skipped over hoping he would change. Her um, so I would say that so was probably my fault is looking at the initial red flag and following through thinking I can change him. Whoa. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to this question. No, guys, she doesn't my have a sinus Misha, infection. She has an accent. Nice to meet you too. My last relationship was I think was about a Wisconsin year, accent. And it did last about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start with me. Um, something that I could have done better was let go. Um, sometimes when I'm so invested into something, okay. I don't know how to let it go. Um, so when I had saw the signs and I had saw he wasn't interested, he, they, he could have stayed as long as he wanted to, but he just didn't go, but I saw he wasn't interested. So I should have let go. Um, and that's where I hold accountability for something that he could have done better was, um, don't commit to something if like it, I wanted marriage. Um, and he kind of went along with it and, um, it just, that's not what he wanted. He wanted to go out, he wanted to party, but he wanted to kind of play, um, the husband, but that's not yeah. what he wanted. So. Gotcha. That yeah. happened. Your name and age and the answer to those questions. My name is Miriam and I am 34. My last relationship, um, I think it was like 2018. I'm not sure because it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were on and off for like 10 years. Um, the qu last two questions were what? Oh, okay, last two, oh, you said you said 2018? Yeah. And, and then basically, you... uh, just name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Um... I think from, I don't think it's just one thing, but the icebreaker for me was he got physical. Oh, physical, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's So that was right. like, you know, like I said, we was on and off for like 10 years. So when you hold on to something and you're like, okay, 
you're hoping for someone to change. But, Absolutely. Yeah, when you get physical, unacceptable. Then, so. and you say he got yeah. physical, so what's one thing that you did wrong in that relationship? I attack back. That's one thing I think okay. I do, like, because yeah. I'm, like, very dominant as well, so I don't do too well in control. I feel like a man should know how to be also a man, and a woman should know her place as well, but it's, like, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it was just more so my mouth. Like, gotcha. I attack with my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So it's, like, if you go low, I'm going to go lower. But <laughs> I think that's my thing, you know? But that's, about, that's really it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Let's go to our next lady. Name, age, and the answer to his questions. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. How are you doing? And I just, I didn't want to be rude, but when you asked the question, I wanted to pop already. No, go ahead. <laughs> Why are you holding your balloon? Pop. Okay. Yeah. okay. I don't know. Why we popped in? Um, because I already know you're not going to like it, but my last relationship was New Year's, January. So that's just. So you popped because you assumed that I wasn't going to like it? Yeah, because it's so rude. This is like her third or fourth time doing that. <laughs> What? Girl, just be you. If they don't like you, they'll pop your balloon. You don't need to pop it before. No, guys, this is at least the third time. Reason. Maybe and the, the fourth. Other women, you know, it's been a couple Very years. Very self-sabotaging. And... No, that ain't no, no you know the healing process. It ain't no... Oh, so you're not healed yet? <laughs> no, I am, you but are? I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe if it were me, I don't know. That might but yeah, be you... a problem, you know, just yeah. nah, you January. Like yeah, yeah. Nah, you can't assume months. like that, yeah. Okay. I just fine. assumed. <laughs> you want to you get know, that's too back, recent. Good, but you don't have to assume like that. But even if you don't mind about that, like, I just feel like you're such a pretty boy. Like, I get, no, like, no, you're very handsome, very sexy. Definitely not a pretty boy. But I mean, like, I just get player vibes. Player you make vibes? me nervous. Oh. Yeah, like, player. I get the player. So you project it. <laughs> no, uh, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I just got you, the player vibes. No, nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. If you would have said that, I uh, think she's overthinking things a little then, bit. Then you know you would have been spot on. But nah, now I'm grown. Like you know, life You're is looking, more serious. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's more serious for me. How so, old like, are you? Yeah, I'm 34. Oh, 35. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. That's all right, girl. Don't worry. You popped. You popped. <laughs> all right. So after hearing those responses, you know, hearing everything they had to say, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop uh, one girl's balloon. So let me give you a pick. Get one. There you go. Yeah. Just go ahead and pop one of theirs. I might have to go with you. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh, I ended up popping because when I asked uh, what's one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong, it was kind of basically like you led with two things that he did wrong or the reason you <laughs> felt like you did something wrong was because what he did. So, you know, I felt like it wasn't no accountability there. Okay. So that's only the reason. Okay. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, initially, I liked the things that you said. Um, I think we have a lot of things in common as far as what you like to do in your free time um, or a lot of things I like to do on my free time as well. Um, I think you're very well spoken. Um, I find you to be very attractive. I like your skin tone. I like your tattoos. Giggle. I like how you speak. Um, you seem to know what you're looking for, and I like that. So I just wanted to hear more. Okay. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and ask these ladies another question. Other one, okay. Yes. Uh, based off your personality, Name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Okay. Start right on here. Okay, you said based off... Um, your personality, person. your character traits, you know, who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Um, I communicate well. Um, I, I'm also a good listener. Um, and I'm, I'm fun, I'm kind of quiet, but once, uh, once you get to know me, once I get comfortable, I'm like, I have a very fun personality. Right and flacco. I like to Thank go out and have fun and I can you know, bring good energy into the relationship, He's um, especially being open-minded and it's part of the show. just being me, being, trying to be, you know, like a great person and gotcha. again, with communicating and being listen, a good listener. So. Okay, let's go. Let's go down here. Um, something that I would bring into the relationship, I'm very nurturing. Um, I'm always gonna be your number one fan. Like, that's just how I feel. Um, I'm gonna make you laugh. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to make somebody laugh. So, um, and then uh, just, Trying to figure out you, um, trying to figure out what you want, um, mm -hmm. trying to how to make you happy is that's what I would bring to, to the relationship. That's so sweet. Um, I would say I'm funny. Okay. I have great communication skills. I love conversation. Um, that's one of my biggest things. So if you can't have a conversation with me, I'm just like that's just big for me. You know, we, I like to talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I think you know, just being funny. Like I said, I'm spontaneous. Like I like to travel, um, try new things. I'm mm -hmm. optimistic. And I'm goal-oriented, so I feel like as far as what I can bring to the relationship, helping both of us with our goals and just staying, you know, on task and building, you know, future stuff. So, yeah. Okay, okay time to pop another balloon. Uh, yes, uh, sir. <laughs> I mean, you all gave great answers. Uh, right. Damn. Uh, <laughs> so I can ask another one. Next round. You got to pop one. Next round. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just going to eat right here. 
Okay, why do we end up hopping hers? Uh, mm, it was I more so on the, like, the first question I asked. I felt like she's like a little toxic. Oh. So, yeah, she said that she he he was abusive, she was abusive. So you know, I've been in relationships like that before, and I ain't trying to uh. double back on that. Yeah. Oh. I can understand that. I mean, that's part of growth and, you know, healing. Mm -hmm. So that was like mm -hmm. six, seven years ago, six, 2018. Seven. So, okay. yeah, I mean, and I, I respect it, you know, but I'm not toxic. You know, gotcha. take, take toxic, <laughs> right. you know, too. Like no, I said, I and I, I get it, you know, because I kind of bounce back off of him as well. So, yeah. but no, I don't do toxic. I like my peace. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, ladies, any questions for our guy here? Oh, you got one? Okay, sorry. Let's go back. <laughs> do you have any children? I do. Oh, gonna have to pop. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm popping is because um, for the husband that I want, I do want to experience that um, gotcha. together, and that's something that I want both of us to have. So. Okay. So, that's yeah, that's fair. understandable. Okay. No, is, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, she's cool. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Any questions over here? Yes. Uh, a follow up to that. Uh, gotcha. How many children and how old? Uh, I have two. Uh, my son is ten, and my daughter she'll be eight in November. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have close. children? I don't. You don't? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a problem for you, a deal breaker for you? No, um, the age well, would have nice. been if they were younger. Younger, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Um, <gasps> where do you see yourself much? in like five years? Five years? Uh, five years, I see myself owning my own trucking I business. I think they're going to match. And uh, starting my own fleet. Uh, to be honest, like, I know we all heard about the creation of Adam and Eve. So I'm just looking for my missing rib. So if I find her, I could build a foundation from her, you know, get a house. And then once I get a house with her, protect protect the house, provide for the house, you know, put my life on the line for her. So it's just like, I see myself being married with somebody and just being established. So that's like my, that's like my ultimate goal. Uh -huh. Let me have you come on up here, come on up. Let's go that way, let's go that okay. way. All right, guys. So I have a final question, if you guys are I all good. I think that was a reference you I have a final question? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. <gasps> is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a man! Take this mic and you guys can go on up. Five oh, matches. Let's give it up for the guys. Oh. Honda Prelude, think of 15 months. Five matches. Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode of Fucking Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Be. If 